Hello, YouTubers. Buster Gundo here. The current time is 1.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today's date, September 6th, 2021. If you're wondering what game this is, this is Futurama for PlayStation 2. So let's get started, shall we? I want to talk to you guys about what may or may not be happening on my channel. I'm going to be trying to push myself to make a lot more videos. And hopefully my quality will get better with each video. If you have any questions about it, feel free to chat with me in the comment section. I will be streaming this month. So as hopefully some of you guys already know, I try to do at least one Sonic game every three months. If we look at a natural calendar, that would be March, June, September, and December. And this month is September, so you already know what that means. Now, hopefully, tomorrow, if all goes well, I will be able to do a Sonic stream. I won't tell you guys which game because that'll spoil the surprise. However, unlike previous streams where everything goes to poop, I'm going to try to do better. I'm going to be taking this one hour at a time, taking it as slow as possible. And trying to make sure that everything goes right before I start recording. That way you guys get the best footage and I don't have to keep replaying a level to get the best footage possible. So with that little bit out of the way, let's get to the truer topic of things, shall we? Mutts. They're everywhere. North, south, east, and west. All over the U.S. Heck, there could be one right next to you, next door. Or, in the unfortunate case, you may live with one. It may not have been your decision to get one, and if it was, you are a sad human being and need to reconsider yourself. But enough about that. As I said, they're all over the place. You can't really get away from them no matter how hard you try. God forbid you live in a suburban neighborhood or any neighborhood with more than 10 families at a time in it. There are a couple things I don't like about dogs in general. And I'll try to be organized here with each one. So number one, they are the most disgusting pet you can get. They eat their own feces, they lick their own urine, they'll eat their own vomit given the opportunity, they will eat any and every food source they can, especially if it's meat related. They don't care whether it's on the sidewalk, on the street, on your plate, on the ground. They'll even steal from other animals to eat their food. They are disgusting creatures. And yet, a lot of Americans don't realize that they bring this kind of germs into their homes, around their children, around their kitchens, their bathrooms, places where only humans should be allowed. And yet, these dog nutters are willing to let their mutts in everywhere. Soon, Hopefully this will be far off into the future. They are trying to rally to get more dogs into different places, such as hospitals and restaurants. What kind of Mad Max world do we live in? Where mutts will soon be allowed in restaurants and in hospitals. Two of the places that should be the cleanest of them all. So with that out of the way, let's move on. Number two, they are everywhere, including places they are not supposed to be. Now this one may be arbitrary to the average American, but to those of you across the sea, you may not understand where I'm coming from. Just imagine waking up on any given morning, your morning is already going well enough. You've brushed your teeth, washed your face, done all your natural morning routine. Only to hear the sound of ridiculous barking. 
You walk outside your door, you take one good step, and the first thing you hear is barking. The God-forsaken barking. Anyone who has been near dogs for long enough who is not a dog nut can relate to this. Dog nuts are a pain when it comes to their dogs barking. They are everywhere. I mean, you can't really get away from them. And since more than, say, 60% of Americans do have at least one mutt in their household, getting away from them is like trying to get away from air and water. Very hard to do. Unless you're willing to go to the most inhospitable areas that dogs cannot survive in. With that said, on to number three. Number three, they only want food. If anyone were to ask you, what do you worship? It may be a religious figure, maybe a deity, maybe someone you admire. Ask them about that same question and you would only get one response, food. Above all else, above all things that creatures value, including their offspring and safety. One thing stands among these damn derps, and that is food. The almighty food source. They will kill each other for food. They will kill their masters for food. If you died right now, your dog would presume to eat you instead of the dog food you left out. They are always Hungry, always, no matter if they just ate a minute ago or whether they ate 12 hours ago, they will always be hungry. Apparently in animals, there's an instinct inside of their brain and inside of their very being that tells them, hey, I'm full. Maybe I should stop eating. In mutts, this response is dead, apparently. Very dead. They will eat and eat and eat until their stomachs are ready to explode and subsequently you'll have to waste money on health care for them getting their stomachs pumped because they decided to eat way too much how do you stop this you might ask there really is no way to do so at least voluntarily speaking you can try as you might but a dog will always find its way to food. Number four. This has less to do with dogs and more about their owners. Most dog owners are really, really irresponsible. When it comes to keeping a dog on a leash, they choose not to. They want the dog to be free. When it comes to leaving them in their cage for extensive periods of time, they choose not to. They would rather the dog be free. And what does this new frown freedom grant these mutts? The ability to attack and prey on others. I may sound like a douche when I say that, but it is the truth. If any dog breaks out of a yard, what's the first thing they do? They go to attack and bite people. I don't think that's just a coincidence, people. Not a coincidence at all. These mutt owners are very irresponsible. They have them around their children, around their toddlers, around their babies, around people who can clearly not defend themselves if the dog went berserk. And I'm not talking about guts from berserk either. I'm talking about full-blown Grand Theft Auto bite slash kill streak by as many people as humanely possible. And yet most of the time, these mutt owners make excuses, even when their own child gets injured slash killed. It's funny in not a comical way, but funny in a messed up way. 
that these dog lovers are willing to give their mutt absolute freedom when the majority of pets don't get much freedom. When I say the majority of pets, I mean snakes, rabbits, ferrets, mice, cats, iguanas, turtles, guinea pigs, hamsters, any putt but mutts. Now feel free to correct me in the comment section if I am wrong, I am very open to critique. Maybe this video may be edited in the future or future information. You never know. Number five. They value mutts amongst everything else. Or should I say above everything else? This has less to do with dogs, but more about dog nuts. Dog nuts value their dogs amongst everything else. They value their mutts as if they were God himself. Or whatever deity you believe. I have never really seen too many people worship one animal specifically more so than mutts. Yes, I know for people across the sea, cows are sacred, but I'm pretty sure cows don't go around killing people either. Cows are generally peaceful in comparison to mutts. But yes, they value their mutts above even other human lives. If that's not the range, I don't know what is. I honestly don't know what is. They will choose the life of a mutt over the life of their family member. If their mutt and family members are in a burning building, they will save the mutt over their family members. They may not openly admit it, but in the back of their mind, deep within the subconscious, it is there, lurking, waiting for the chance to be released. Would you honestly stay with somebody knowing they valued their mutt over you? Only time will tell in this theater of madness called life. Number six. And this is going to be an awkward one, but they have a deep infatuation with these mutts. They talk to them as if they were human. They let them have human freedoms. They give them human names. Refer to them as he and she. They are allowed to sleep on the bed, on the couch, wherever so they feel. Sometimes they get even more rights than humans do. Also, take into the fact that dogs have better health care than most animals put together. It's kind of strange, don't you think? The fact that a mutt has better health care than some of humans. I think that's just a coincidence, honestly. And so, with those reasons listed, those are only some of the many, many reasons I hate mutts. So tune in next time for another hopefully much more successful video. And as I say this time and every time, Buster Gundo, signing up for now. Be safe, be smart, be silent. For whatever is done in darkness eventually comes to light. Be safe out there. By the way, if you've made it this far, Please comment in the comment section below whether you can hear and see everything clearly. I want to know how my video quality is going. So let me know down below. Buster Gundo, signing out for now. Be safe out there.